Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop, retired meteorologist, and today is Sunday, September the 17th. It's been kind of quiet around here lately. However, we are seeing some showers and thunderstorms moving across the area right now. That's a frontal system that's moving across the region, and it'll be passing across through the area by overnight. We should see clearing weather conditions. I'm more concerned about what's going on into the tropics right now. Of course, Lee uh, moved well off to the northeast of us into the uh, Atlantic Canada area and eastern portions of Maine. However, uh, more activity is beginning to develop into the tropics. So first of all, let's take a look at the radar, see what's going on right now. And uh, looking at the radar, there it is right there. And we are seeing some showers and thunderstorms that passed across the area earlier this afternoon. When this band right here passed across my area, I got some pretty good rains out of it. Nothing really heavy. There you can see it right there, the rain's coming down. Some uh, rumbles of thunder and uh, no gusty winds whatsoever. I picked up uh, one third of an inch of rain, actually 0 0.30, not quite a third of an inch of rain. But there is another band of showers and thunder showers developing over here off the, uh, in the upper portions of southeastern Georgia. And of course, that'll be moving in toward our area this afternoon into the early evening hours as well. But then as that moves off uh, the area, we should see some clearing weather conditions overnight. Let's take a look at the maps right now. And there's the satellite imagery, and there's that band of showers and thunderstorms that first moved across the area. Let's take a look at the um, flash intensity from the lightning detection system. And it shows, you know, th th there's the rumble of showers and thunder that we heard uh, as that system passed through. The one behind it, not quite as strong. A uh, patch of sunshine in between. There it is. The sunshine's outside right now uh, in my area. You can take a look at it from the Heavenly Backyard Garden. But this other band of showers and thunder showers will be passing across the area. Then behind this, this is some drier air uh, that's moving in across the region over here uh, in Alabama, northwestern Georgia. That'll be moving into our area overnight. And then we're going to have several days of some very, very uh, pleasant weather conditions. Now, let's see what's going on uh, elsewhere in the tropics. There you have a couple of systems there. There's the uh, remnants of Lee over here uh, uh, moving off the eastern Atlantic Canada area. And there's the uh, Margo, which is now just a tropical remnant. And then you have the developing Nigel over here. And then uh, there's something trying to develop over here in the Atlantic Ocean, well off to the east. And I'm also going to be watching this area of southeastern Georgia, uh, right in our area here. This will be for around uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Let's take a look at the uh, uh, maps right now from the National Hurricane Center, the uh, tropical weather update for today. And there is Nigel, uh, and Nigel is not going to be a threat whatsoever for us as that continues to move off toward the west-northwest and then turns to the northwest, north, and back to the northeast, uh, staying well out in the middle of the tropical Atlantic Ocean. There is that wave over here in the eastern tropical Atlantic, but I don't expect to see much out of that. Again, though, I'm watching uh, this area over here off the coast of northeastern Florida and, of course, southeast Georgia and southern South Carolina for something that might develop uh, by Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Could give us some gusty winds and some rain associated with it. Maybe a tropical depression could form. I don't know if it's going to form into a storm. Next name on the list is Ophelia. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. So with that being said, let's take a look at the computer models right now. And this is the North Atlantic, so we're seeing the whole uh, system right now. There is um, Nigel right over here, and uh, putting this into further motion. There, by the end of the week, I'm watching this system develop off the southeast United States. And then this system coming off the coast of Africa, where will it go? Well... Just like Nigel, it's going to go west and then turn to the north and stay out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. But let's go over here into the southeast United States and look at our area here uh, for this region. There's the showers and thunderstorms that we're having right now. And then by, um, well, after midnight, we're going to be clearing off and then we'll have mostly sunny weather conditions for Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, we're going to start becoming partly cloudy with a slight chance for showers. But then this system starts developing uh, this is at 2 o'clock on Friday afternoon. There we can see an area of low pressure off the coast of northeastern Florida, east central Florida, uh, bringing in some northeasterly winds and moisture across eastern Georgia and southern and eastern South Carolina. And as we go into time, uh, the GFS model, the uh, global forecast system from the U.S. models, uh, indicate a tropical sub 
tropical system trying to develop off the coast of southeastern Georgia. This is at sunrise on Saturday. There you see a low pressure system. If this is correct, we'll have a lot of rain on Saturday morning into Saturday afternoon and some gusty winds, but most of this activity will be remaining offshore for us. And then it moves northward and curves into right around the mouth of the Savannah River, uh, right there in the uh, Savannah, Tybee, uh, uh, Defusky, Hilton Head area, the center of that, and then moves inland. So it, it, it might develop into a tropical storm, but uh, right now, if it does, it'll be a weak one. And uh, if it does, the name will be Ophelia. What is the um, European model saying? The uh, ECMWF, the European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecast. Let's take a look at that model. And here we go into uh, uh, Thursday night at sunset, then going into Friday. It has it developing, but not as, as, as potent, I suppose, as the GFS. And then it continues to stew around there and stays well off, well, not well off, but east of the coast of Georgia and South Carolina and moves up to the Outer Banks of North Carolina. So right now, according to the ECMWF, nothing to worry about at all. What about the Canadian model? They did really good, or it did really good with the uh, uh, Hurricane Lee. But uh, looking at its forecast and going into the end of the week, there it goes right there. And it makes it goes well east of us. Uh, uh, well east of Georgia, South Carolina, and actually skirts the Outer Banks of North Carolina and moves up in toward the New York City and New Jersey area uh, in Philadelphia as a, uh, a system. Let's look at the uh, th that map there just for fun. Um, that would be the Northeast United States, right? There. Let's just use Eastern U.S. Uh, you can see the whole thing. There, the, uh, the um, Canadian model has that thing ramping up pretty good as possible strong tropical storm, even a, 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 a hurricane. And then moves in toward, again, the New York City area, uh, up into the western and central portions of New England, where they really, really, really don't need any more rain right now for a long time, as they're suffering from all the flash floodings they've been having all summer long. And then, of course, with Hurricane Lee just passing on by there. Uh, let's just go back to the uh, global forecast system, the GFS model, the U.S. model, and see where it takes it up further to the um, uh, north in time. And it dissipates it. It brings it into the Appalachians and dissipates it. So something worth watching over the next several days is this system in the potential development off the uh, southeast United States coast. But for us, uh, if you want to follow my uh, weather conditions, you can follow it on uh, my uh, webpage, savannapat.name. And uh, there I, I'll put the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, tropical weather outlook available immediately. So you can just click on it and see what's going on. Uh, if a storm develops, of course, I'll have the close-up view of that as well. And then the forecast down here. Um, yeah, Hurricane Lee. Wow, that was some, some storm. Uh, I'll replace this video with that video coming up shortly. And looking at the conditions for the next several days, expect to see uh, clearing conditions overnight and then sunshine tomorrow and Tuesday and then uh, rain coming in for Saturday, perhaps. So we'll keep an eye on that. So with that being said, you know, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed, why not? Please subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to leave any comments, leave your comments below. I try to answer all the comments that are given on my YouTube channel right over here. And if you'd like to support my channel, I wouldn't mind that either. You don't have to, but it, you know, it helps me uh, with the uh, expenses uh, to produce these videos. And uh, I love my coffee. You can always buy me a cup of coffee. And also, if you would like to join my channel, you can do that too for a nominal fee or through my Patreon page, uh, which supports this channel and my other channel, uh, the bigger channel, actually, my astronomy channel, the Heavenly Backyard Astronomy channel, uh, which I produce a lot of astronomy videos out there. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the fine weather. You know, it's going to be moderate temperatures with low humidities over the next couple of days. So enjoy that. And the moon is waxing, becoming uh, larger and larger. So you'll be able to see the moon throughout the evening hours all of this week if clouds are, are not out in the sky, of course. So with that being said, I hope you have a nice week and see you later. Bye.